Some Roman dishes, bowls, platters are oval in shape, and they result from an interesting process. The process begins like any round bowl or low plate or platter. A bubble is blown, a Roman foot is made. In this case, the bubble is flattened. The blow hose allows me to blow gently while flattening the sides. This makes the bubble oval, and it also makes the Roman foot oval. Before transferring to the punty, it's essential to flatten the bottom during the process of making the bubble and the foot oval. The foot ceases to be flat. The punty side is cooled and the transfer to the punty takes place. The tips of the pincers are held in the constriction and with a little tap, the neck breaks cleanly. The tube above the vessel body will be a critical participant in the making of the outer fold. First, the tube is made perfectly cylindrical, and then it's folded outward, and the rim or edge is pushed firmly down onto the shoulder of the bubble. Much of the opening process is carried out with centripetal force, just spinning. And this makes the widest part of the vessel continue to increase in diameter quicker than the narrower part of the vessel. The bubble gets more and more oval, becomes an oblate spherical ovoid. You can see the midsection broadening with the spinning. And finally, holding the vessel slightly downward, the final opening is carried out entirely with centripetal force. The pauses are slight corrections for centering. And finally, the lip or rim flips out.